Hey guys, I decided to start a series on tips for Grand Theft Auto V. You might learn something, but you might not. So for the first video, I'm going to quickly cover taxis. I use taxis all the time, as they save a lot of time. I'm sure a lot of you use them too. You can either ride as a passenger, or hijack the cab. To ride as a passenger in a taxi, you can do three things. You can call them from your cell phone, you can simply just tap Y or triangle when you're standing next to the cab, or you can hail a cab that is moving by pressing right on the directional pad. If you are being chased by the police, you will hijack the cab instead of entering as a passenger. While inside the cab, you can use the left analog stick to choose a destination. You can also choose to set a destination by using the waypoint system in the map in the pause menu. You can choose anywhere you want, including places you've never been to before. You can even set the waypoint to the Pacific Ocean. Some drivers will only go as far as they can, while others will surprisingly go the distance. You can change the destination anytime by using the left analog stick again. Hey, hold on a minute. New plan. After you choose the destination, you can watch the cab drive to your destination following traffic Come laws, on, or you can make the driver break them by pressing X on the 360 or square on the PS3. Pressing B on the Xbox 360 or circle on the PS3 will make the driver pull over and stop. He will continue when you press it again. If you get out while stopped, the driver will leave you behind. You can get out of the cab at any time by pressing Y or triangle. And of course, you could skip the ride completely by pressing A on the 360 or X on the PS3. I should note that if at any time the cab goes into a restricted area or hits a police car, the police will chase after you instead. To steal the cab, you have to press and hold Y or triangle. While you're driving around, sometimes dispatch will ask if you want to drive someone nearby. You can respond that you would like to by pressing down on the left thumbstick. You can also press the left thumbstick without having to respond to dispatch, and they'll let you know who to pick up right away. Just like in real life, the more distance traveled, the more the passenger has to pay, even if you are just driving around in circles. If you have any questions, feel free to message me here on YouTube or catch me live streaming on Twitch. And as always, thanks for watching. Quick question, quick answer. Can you derail a train in Grand Theft Auto V? Nope.